It was Richie that basically said, Rod's a very average singer and Nicky's a great rock and roll bass player, but that's not where we're going. And it was that simple. See, to me, Purple was about two people. It was about Richie and Ian. John was a great musician, and he's a great musician. A bass player is a bass player. Get, I'm sorry, bass players. I'm going to get banned for lots of bars for that. Um, but Richie was was the sparkle in the band, and Ian was just an exceptional drummer. And to me, that was purple. I've had lots of arguments with lots of people over the years about that. But then John was the musical spanner that kept all the nuts and bolts together. He was the structure man, a brilliant musician. But it's like most keyboards, he's probably been taught it since he was six years old and he knew about structure. At that early stage, I don't think Richie did. But what Richie did was different from anybody else and that made it special. That's my opinion. I'm a song man. I was brought up with songs. Um, and if, if you listen to the first three albums, they're songs. I think after that, where they become most successful, they're sounds rather than songs. Um, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I couldn't have done it. I mean, I would have gone, well, where's the melody? Um, and they were right. I mean, I still resent a little bit. No one ever had John, you know, I spoke to John and Tony about it and they went, oh, well, 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 it, you know, it was up to the band to tell you. I mean, Richie was my mate. The others were people I worked with. Before they both died, John and Tony both said they resented paying me a percentage. And I said to them, well, I resent you only giving me 1%. Because everywhere else I was getting 2, 3, 4%. And I did all your thing for you. And of course they went, no, 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 you didn't do any of that. We did all that. And he said, yeah, of course, yeah, all right. Every other week, John and I nearly come to blows. Um, because John was the one that suddenly thought he knew it all. But that's what made John, John. His enthusiasm for everything. Um, Tony... To me, Tony was never a music man, he was a businessman. Tony would go, oh, that's great, if he heard someone say that's great before him. John would have an opinion, it probably was never right, but he, he would have his own opinion. That was my feelings over those early years.